Over a million people in the U.S. have type 1 diabetes, the type that is usually diagnosed in childhood or adolescence, as was, as was our next guest, Gina, who had to plan her whole world around insulin infusions and injections. Her diabetes was so severe, she believed it would one day take her life too soon. My name is Gina, and I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 9. When I was nine, I kept saying, Mom, I need something to drink, and then, Mom, I need to go to the bathroom. That just kind of led her to think, like, there's something going on. The doctor got the test results back. My blood sugar levels were so high that I was medevaced to the hospital in Anchorage. I went from a nine-year-old carefree kid to someone who constantly carried around a bag full of medical supplies. Early in college, I started to have seizures from low blood sugar in the middle of the night. And they were so severe that if I wasn't injected with an emergency glucagon kit, I could die. Every time I went to bed at night, I wouldn't know, would I be waking up with paramedics in my room? Would I be waking up in a hospital? Or would I not be waking up at all? About six years ago, after having several seizures really close together, I was laying on the couch. Every muscle in my body ached. My tongue is like bleeding and chewed from the seizures and I couldn't understand the point of a disease that would make life like this. Then I looked over at the coffee table and there was a brochure that had been there for I don't know how long and on the cover it said something about clinical trials and diabetes. I was like wait like what is out there? Maybe there is a way to like make things better. So I started researching clinical trials and that led me to finding the Transplant Center at the City of Hope. For the first time I thought that there might really be something that would be able to help me. After participating in City of Hope's clinical trial for type 1 diabetes, Gina joins us. The best part, you have some pretty great news to share. I do. I um, successfully participated in an islet cell transplant through the City of Hope, and now I'm insulin free. Oh. Wow. So how different is your life now? It's so different. It's so hard to explain. Mm -hmm. um, how overwhelming handling type 1 diabetes day in and day out, day and night, every minute of every day is. And now to not have to worry about it all day, every day and night is like a whole different world. Gina is the first person to succeed with this clinical trial. And here to help explain the breakthrough is City of Hope's principal investigator, Dr. Fouad Kandil. This is so exciting, Dr. Kandil. So, so very exciting. It has been really a great dream of scientists and physicians to be able to replace the insulin-producing cell that is lost in patients with type 1 diabetes. And those actually, at the present time, we obtain them uh, from patients who donate their organs at the end of life. We isolate them, we purify them, we inject them into the liver of the patient with type 1 diabetes, and they actually start to work immediately. They start yeah. working immediately, immediately as soon as they're transplanted. It's in. an outpatient procedure. It's done over a half an hour period, uh, and the patient is awake during the process, and uh, if effectively insulin, uh, they start to sense the requirement for insulin secretion and produce insulin immediately. This is a game changer if this becomes something that we can provide to more type 1 diabetics. I know the clinical trials are still continuing. At some point, this could allow all type 1 diabetics or the majority to be able to produce their own insulin. Game changer. We, we appreciate all you're doing to yes. advance science. Yes. Continued success. Thank you. Thank you. It's so great to see you smile and enjoy life. All our best to you. We'll be right back.